Hey guys, so today I want to take you guys with me finishing everything up uh, and like packing for, oh sorry, packing for my trip and all. Um, let's just say I have not had a good start. It's barely 9.51. I've been up since 7. Um, but I've been so stressed. Whoa, sorry. I've been so stressed. Like, I, I don't know what it is. And I just, like, I came to Starbucks, right? Because I'm, so I'm going out with my friend to Target and Ulta because I have to buy, like, my hair products and, like, makeup that's, like, running low, you know? So, because it's, I'm gonna be there a month, so, like, I need all my stuff. So, anyways, so I'm already stressed, right? And I'm not having a good morning, so I'm like, let me go get Starbucks before I go to my friends. I don't know if it was me being rude or if it's the Starbucks worker being rude. Literally, I get there and I order and... I ordered a very berry hibiscus, not for me, but for my friend. And they're all like, oh, we no longer have that. I'm like, okay, cool. Just give me a strawberry. I say, so they do. And then I get to the window and I'm paying. And the girl hands me like, like, I don't know. Like, they're normally so nice at the Starbucks. But also, I haven't been at the Starbucks for like a month. So she gives me a strawberry acai, which is like what I ended up replacing the hibiscus one for. And she gives me a hot drink. And I was like, I'm sorry, like, why? I don't even think I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just like, oh, what is this? She was like, it's your iced white mocha. And I was like, oh, oh, it's supposed to be iced. And she's like, oh. And she just takes it back. And she's like, can you park up front? And I was like, we're in the front. Because I didn't know Starbucks was like McDonald's where they make you go park in the front. So I'm just like, park where though? Like, like you know? And so I hate this parking lot. So that's also what got me annoyed at this parking lot. I hate like this plaza alone. I hate so then I'm parked and then I just see a Starbucks worker like two minutes later I see a Starbucks worker come out of the store So I rolled down my window because I know it's for me and He literally just hands me the drink and says here you go and leaves But like or he said here something like that like he wasn't he was not nice about it He just gave it to me and then it made me feel like did I do something wrong because I swear I did nothing wrong like, I simply just told them my drink was, like, supposed to be iced. Like, I hate hot drinks. Like, I hate it. So, yeah. And I don't know if that was rude of me. Like, if it was and you're the Starbucks worker, I'm sorry. But not really because I, I don't think I did anything. Anyways, so now I'm on my way to my friend's house. And it's 20 minutes away. So, yeah. I'm so stressed, guys. Do you know this Starbucks? I hate this plaza. Also, if you guys are wondering why my eyes are like red, other than me being annoyed, um, I did only sleep four hours. I went to sleep at like 3.30, almost four, and I woke up at seven. So yeah, like three and a half hours. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now, but yeah, that's how my morning is going so far. Hopefully it gets better. Hey guys, uh, it's like 20 minute drive. Uh, I do have a quite some story times. I almost hit a trailer twice. Okay, well, not me. So, listen. I was taking this street, right? That it was... So, it was just two lanes. And then it opened up to, like, the people getting out of the freeway. Like, it became a freeway exit. But the lane I was on wasn't right next to the freeway. So there was no point in cars merging in front of me i don't know if that makes any sense but basically this trailer gets off the freeway and cuts me off and like when i say like a trailer like i mean like a big ass trailer like it's not just like a little like trailer and i'm obviously going full speed as one does like they go the speed limit and i had to break so hard not to hit him that was scary so if you're a trailer driver person please don't do that like you could have died actually i would have died not you but yeah that was scary but anyways my coffee is pretty good considering that it was messed up but i'm feeling better just waiting for my friend she snapped me but i've been recording this so yeah but that was my day guys that was so stressful gotta go though guys, i keep forgetting to vlog um i just dropped off my friend well not just actually i dropped off my friend and i'm home now so we did end up going to Ulta, Target, and then we went to go eat Culver's, um, and then yeah, I dropped her off, and now I am back home. Guys, I had the scariest experience, and I know what you guys are thinking, Liz, you're almost always crashing. So this is how it happened. So I'm trying to merge over to the left-hand side, and then um, the car behind me tried merging too, but like the lane to merge hadn't even opened yet, so like I don't know why he did that. So he's speeding behind me and then there's a car that had just like it's coming this way right so coming towards me 
and there are little plazas to the right hand side of me so that car was trying to turn over into our turning lane so he could go through into the little plaza even though like there's a different section for you to go in through the plaza like that lane that i was going on was not his lane so anyways so that car starts merging about to start merging into my lane so then i break hello hard and almost hit because i didn't want to keep going into the lane so i was like so close to the car in front of me because i would have hit him if if i like didn't break harsh i would have hit him because i wasn't merging into the other lane because i didn't want to merge into that lane and hit the car like in the front of me you know what i mean and then the car behind me because i break harshly he breaks so harshly too and then i was just like damn so say if like that car had gone in front and i kept going it probably would have been like a four car crash so yeah i don't know who's giving me this bad juju but i swear to god this one had nothing to do with me either i was just minding my business switching lanes but anyways i'm home now i'll probably give you guys a haul later but it's already two by the way it's 2 20 so it's still pretty early in the day for me because i wake up late so yeah anyways i'm gonna get off because it is hot Guys, I forgot to update you, but I got home and I started doing laundry and I just finished my laundry and um, like folded everything, but I still have to actually pack, but I am so tired, like my sleep is getting to me. So, yeah, I'm gonna take a nap and then we'll get back to packing. I'll show you guys what I got from Target and Ulta as well. It's not much, like it's literally not a lot, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that. And then I record myself packing and yeah. It is now seven and I honestly didn't sleep. I was just on my phone and then um, I couldn't sleep because I had a trace. So I got on my phone and then I started just editing my YouTube videos because I'm gonna be gone for like a month. So with this video, I should be set on having a video every Saturday in June um, because I'm trying to upload once a week and they're always like back so like this video that you guys are seeing you're probably gonna see at the end of july even though i'm recording this at the beginning of july i don't know if that makes any sense but anyways so yeah i was editing videos and then i still had a headache still couldn't sleep um so i ended up taking some painkillers and kind of went away mm -hmm. feeling okay but i'm gonna show you guys what i did because i did actually start cleaning my room so it looks a lot cleaner now um, i'm gonna start off with showing you guys my jewelry box i have a little jewelry box um I don't have too much honestly because I don't want to carry everything and like lose my stuff but I do have two necklaces so I have these two from Jose like uh oh here you go like a rose one and then the uh Virgin Mary one right here I love it because it sparkles and then I do have my evil eye bracelet and then I have these two pair of earrings these aren't on Jose yet but the other ones are um and then i have my rings right here so this is from when i first opened up Jose, my first launch this one was from one of my last launches this one never made it on here because it does turn kind of red so i don't know what to do with um inventory that i don't like i just don't put it out there so i wear it still but i won't have that on the website um this is the one i got from luisa i think it was um Jose coming to Jose to match these earrings and then um, i got this one at i think ross yeah i think it was ross and then these two aren't out yet the virgin mary ones at the bottom but they are coming to Jose soon um and then i have my air tag and i do have my dog's little name plate he older dog and he doesn't like getting his nails cut so he got stuck on like the chain and he was choking on himself so that's why I took it off, but he's mainly indoors, so he's fine. He hopefully doesn't run away. Anyways, and then I just got these earrings. Um, these earrings, I think I got a Forever 21. I'm not sure. Yeah, so that's what I have. Like, you guys have, like, on these, there's so many spots for, like, earrings, but just using those. Guys, I feel like as this video progresses, um, I just start looking worse and worse. Um, I do have the light super bright so it kind of washes me out but like you guys could see like my under eye bags and some mascara smudging i don't even put mascara on my under eye and all the time foundation by my nose kind of leaves but yeah i don't like my eyebrows up close so i'm gonna just <laughs> turn this back up 
but anyways um i'm back home it's literally already 12 so it's like the next day and i'm so tired like i want to go to sleep i have my outfit tomorrow as well let me show you something comfy so i'm gonna wear my slides and then black socks so i take them out just to have everything prepared then i'm wearing this sports bra that's kind of longer so it can i could wear like a shirt in case it gets hot um i don't know if i showed you guys my outfit already but and then these leggings um they're just gray leggings but these as well and then um to go over and then to go over the sports bra i was just gonna wear this sweater right here um just so that could be warm and then if it gets too hot i have a longer sports bra so i'd feel comfortable taking it off um but yeah here's what ruby got me for my birthday because i did see ruby be chick-fil-a um whoa. maybe i could fix my eyebrows real quick I don't know they were that bad. I have had my makeup on guys since 7 in the morning. So if you could give me a break, that would actually be amazing. I don't know if that helped or made it worse. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what she got me. I actually made an Amazon wish list called This 101. And I shared it with my sister and she shared it with Ruby. So Ruby actually got me some stuff off there. She got me these brushes. I forget what they're called, but I've seen them on TikTok. This is not the original, like, expensive ass one. It's like a knockoff one off Amazon. But you, like, twist it and turn something like this. And you, like, twist all your hair and then kind of, like, let it go like that. And it's supposed to help, like, your curls. So I'm going to try this tomorrow morning. I'm actually so excited because I've been wanting it, but I'm just, like, do I need a brush? Like, you know? So hopefully it's good. This is my iPad. This is my favorite color, literally is my nails but yeah this is my favorite color and have like the matching apple pencil it got dirty like i don't know if you guys could see it got so like dirty and i spilled stuff on it so i decided to just put stickers on it so i have a bunch of stickers on the back now and it looks really ugly ugly like i wouldn't want to go out with it but like it's cool because it's like fun you know so on my wish list i wanted to try something new and do pink so it's just a pink one it's the exact same brand, so I know I'll like it. I also got me the matching apple pencil, so I have the blue one now, and then she got me the pink one to match the pink case. So I'm super excited because I feel like since I got it, I've only had the blue case, so it was super fun. And then you guys know I'm trying to learn kind of how to do nails more. So another thing on there was a silicone nail thing, so I could kind of practice my beads and shapes and everything. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. And she also bought me this. What's it called? Acrylic brush. She also got me these pillow covers. They're so soft, guys. Like, these are so soft. They're like, um, I don't know, more of a knit material and then, like, fur. But it's literally the softest thing ever. So, yeah, that's what I got. And do you guys want to see what Diana got me? I remember that Skims video went viral and we were both talking about it. And I was like, oh, my God, I really want to get it because that girl was so convincing. Like, 10 out of 10 on marketing, even though she was not getting paid for it. And I was like, I want to get it. And then we looked at the price. I was like, never mind. Oh, that pillow really does <laughs> go everywhere. Before anybody says that's a ghost, that's literally like in the pillows. But anyways, so she got me the Skims. What is this called? It's the bodysuit brief with snaps. And it's that like viral bodysuit from Skims. It's so small. <laughs> it's literally like tiny, like. I tried putting it on by myself the other day, like over my head, and my head was too big to even squeeze into this. So I think it's a two-person job. But then Ruby suggested just tying the clasp because it does have clasp at the bottom, and putting it like if they were kind of jeans, um, because then it's easier to like pull it up. So I might have to try that. I don't want to try that today. But yeah, that's all I got, and like I said, everything's pretty much packed. So. We're all set, and yeah, I don't really have anything else I have to do today. Um, I just do have to edit this video. So I'm gonna get going because I have to edit this video and then I'll make thumbnails for my previous three videos that I posted, um, which would already be done by the time you guys see this. I've been trying to be consistent, like one video a week, and I've been getting like 20 views. So if you guys are one of those 20 people, thank you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.